So can you also talk about how do you approach it so that also the experienced folks, they have not worked with, you know, unless you are a teacher, you have not worked with, you know, how to how to actually deal with a newcomer. At the same time, newcomers, they don't, they get intimidated. Let's talk about how do you approach this program so that you help both sides, both parties. Yeah, it's it's a hard thing because I, I don't think as well in many of our technologist careers, we've been... Um, really exposed or maybe even taught the way that how you do a lot of human interaction and growing. Um, I mean, there's even, we go on a longer tangent around, you know, software engineers that grow in their career and their next step is management. They're not anywhere prepared for it. This is in a lot of ways sort of the same thing. And what I've always seen it really come down to is how do you build sort of relationships with one another and get sort of past some of the preconceived bit of notions. And, you know, oftentimes it can be just really, really, really simple things, you know, such as, you know, for the mentee of trying to help them get over, you know, their intimidations from mentor is, you know, maybe sometimes the mentor coming and asking them questions about stuff and showing interest in what they're doing um, and trying to understand a little bit of their background. Um, I remember years ago, uh, one of my first big phrase in open source, uh, there was a, a big name of somebody in open source I've never met. And I ran into him, we were going to dinner with some mutual friends. And he looked at my phone and it was like right when Android phones were first coming out and he was checking. He's like, oh, I've not seen this one. This is really cool. And looking at it. And all of a sudden, like that exercise in itself was just disarming because then it became from somebody like, oh, there's this like big, notor you know, big notoriety, big this that I can't approach. And it came down to like, oh, wow, they're they're just like me. And all of a sudden, things just start to become a little bit you know, easier. So I think there's that big piece of it, one. I think another thing is understanding sort of like where the expectations of each person is coming from and understanding that each person has some strength and each person has weaknesses. Um, you know, for someone who could be that seasoned person, like you mentioned, they might know the technology back and forth, but maybe they're not the best way of, you know, articulating pieces. You know, maybe they're, um, you know, maybe some of their project management halves are missing. And maybe that's where a mentee can come in and, and help fill that. And they're, as they're working through their mentorship, their way of keeping the project organized and keeping things updated, maybe that's something that just connects with the mentor and like, oh, wow. But at the same time, the mentor has to be open to seeing that. They have to be okay with, they're not going to know as much as I do on the technology, but they're going to know all of these things that I don't know. And being able to sort of show that mutual appreciation. So yeah, I, I think it's I think it's a really interesting thing of just understanding who each other are and understanding each other's strengths and weaknesses and being open to hearing that and being open to seeing that and you know seeing sort of where those gaps are and you know having appreciation and also having appreciation to sort of teach and sit down and you know work with them. <laughs>